Who would have thought that it is already 2023? Soon it will be 2024. On March 3, 1924 the collapse of the Khilafah Islamiyah al utsmaniyah in Turkey 99 years ago. Since then until today the condition of Islam and the fate of Muslims throughout the world continues to decline sharply. Because there is no more power. Islam does not lead and the world is led by evil people. Unjust people. Hypocrites. Finally various sins and immorality are facilitated. Various kinds of entertainment that are displeased by Allah are made and held. Various kinds of shirk, cults are supported and even sponsored, even created. Then given a stage. Given away with the media. Various ways to colonize this ummah both outwardly and inwardly. Done by the rulers at the end of time. Islam is in a state of severe testing. So the Muslims are under great pressure. Practicing Islam properly and correctly in the last days is like grasping a burning coal. If we let go, we will be separated from Islam. If we hold it, our hands will burn. Choose which one. Want to leave Islam, or let our hands burn. There is no other choice. We have to choose. We choose to keep grasping but our hands are burning. If you let go, and escape from Islam, you will remain in hell for eternity. Choose which one. There is no other choice. The choice is only one of the two. Of course we take a small risk. Because life in the world is just a minute. Soon we will close our lives. Many people are swept away by the world. Even though the world will soon die. The world will soon end. How do we know the world is going to end? Now the number of Muslims worldwide is more than 1.7 billion. We all need to know that the Prophet said, the great apocalypse, the destruction of the universe begins with the appearance of 10 great signs of the apocalypse. Allah has destined that we, the followers of the Prophet Muhammad, will still be alive to witness only the seventh major sign of the end of the world. The first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh signs of the great apocalypse, we still have time to witness them. But the big signs of the eighth, ninth, tenth doomsday are no longer permitted by God to witness them. We are only allowed to see the big signs of the apocalypse up to number seven. Number seven what happened? The messenger of Allah said that a soft, cool wind would blow, smelling of musk, originating from the country of Yemen. This wind quickly enveloped the entire earth. Anyone who is a Muslim, a follower of the Prophet Muhammad, has faith in Allah in his chest, even if his faith is only the tip of his fingernails, even if this person is in a cave, on a mountain top, in a valley, on an island, in any hidden place. But he is a believer, this wind will reach that person. When this person was touched by a gentle breeze that smelled of musk from Yemen, he inhaled it, and immediately he lay dead with Husnul Khatima. The entire world of the Prophet's people who had faith in their chests died. This is the seventh big sign of the apocalypse. So the cool, gentle breeze smells of musk and its source comes from Yemen. It turns out this is the wind of death. Only the Prophet's people who had faith were killed. The eighth, ninth and tenth great signs of the apocalypse are only witnessed by people who do not know Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala at all. Rasulullah said the distance between the seventh and tenth major signs of the apocalypse is only 40 years. So 40 years later the great apocalypse occurred. The destruction of the universe. Rest assured that the end is near. What are our preparations?